Mushroom is becoming one of the most highly demanded crops in Malawi and across the world. And this owes to the fact that it is highly nutritious and is also used as medicine among other uses. There are so many benefits that we get in producing mushrooms. Uh, some benefits include one as a source of food. There are so many nutritional issues in there. You get proteins, you get minerals, and it's also one of the uh, food sources that helps to uh, overcome issues of cancer. These days we have problems of cancer. So by eating most of the mushroom species that we produce here in Malawi, you make sure that at least you are containing some of these uh, early signs of cancer because they have an tumor uh, components in the mushrooms that we produce here. At the same time, also the suppression of HIV multiplication. Those that are eating mushrooms, you may have some levels of uh, some levels of HIV multiplication being reduced. They don't heal, but they help to reduce or suppress the multiplication of uh, this problem that we have in Malawi. So there are so many benefits. Apart from that, you can sell and get income from there because mushroom is a, a food source which you can sell and people can buy and give you more money. At the same time, we also use materials that most of the time you just leave them in the gardens after harvesting our crops. So those can be recycled and to we'll be able to get money from materials which are usually just left idle in the field. Production of mushroom requires high skill and expertise. It is against this background that the horticulture department at the Dilongo University of Agriculture and Natural Resources, Bunda College, organized a training in mushroom production. For a long time, we have been uh, getting calls, demands from the community asking for knowledge and expertise in mushroom. But mainly this comes from our understanding of the strategic pillars of Lilongo University of Agriculture and Natural Resources, which encourages us to also do outreach. Outreach involves telling people, training people about what we do in research and not only teaching students in class but teaching communities, farmers and entrepreneurs to do things that can develop the, this country and contribute to economic development of, of families, uh, including their own families. We invited individuals that are interested to grow mushrooms. Uh, those that are working in companies, that are producing mushrooms at their own, uh, or that are producing you know, crops or uh, vegetable produce as a, an income or as an entrepreneurship activity for themselves. So the individuals uh, that we encourage and anybody interested, even from NGOs or government that are extension workers who are able to at least get information and impart to farmers, we invited those to, to uh, participate or take part in our training. So it was an open type of arrangement that we had. The department has highly qualified staff with a lot of knowledge in mushroom production hence capable of conducting the training. Yeah, for mushroom production, we have expertise looking at the production process, the entire production process. Construction of mushroom houses for both button and oyster mushroom, we have that expertise. The actual production of seed, which, which we call spawn for mushroom, we also do it here at, at Luana. So most of the times, we, we, when it comes for, to ourselves in terms of what we supply to the, to the outside people, we supply seed of mushroom, clean seed, it doesn't have diseases, we supply that, but we also sell the actual mushroom on the shelf, which you can buy and eat. So in terms of this training, we will train people on how to construct mushroom houses, how to grow mushroom, and how to take care of that up to the market. We include post-harvest handling, because we know that some losses are actually made after harvesting. In the training, we have covered production of oyster mushroom, which is what is grown in the country. So this is uh, about producing the spawn, including producing uh, construction of a house, mushroom house construction. And also we had issues of uh, how you prepare the substance or changing the maize stocks into food for mushrooms. So we covered these ones and we also looked at button production, what is involved to grow button, and then we also have practicals in the afternoon that people have to see themselves how production of mushrooms is taking place, most especially on the oyster part. We also want to tell them how to grow the oyster, hands-on experience in producing oyster. But we'll show them the structures as well that we do for producing baron because that's what is required these days. So it's basically producing oyster uh, mushroom as well as baron mushrooms in general. 
The participants underwent an intensive training in both oyster and bird and mushroom production, facilitated by Dr. Vincent Mgoli Mwale, Dr. Alfred Joza, and Mrs. Yasinta Nyaika Malilo. All around, mushroom business has not been taken seriously by many people. But now if experts like this are coming out to train us in mushroom production, it means that it is very important and it will improve our life reports. I think we are going to improve the quality of the quality I have benefited a lot from this training. We have been taught how mushroom is produced and where we can find mushrooms spawning. We have been taken through the whole process, from planting to harvesting. Individually, I've gained uh, a lot of knowledge for personal use as an individual, and uh, as also as a fa at family level, uh, this information will also be disseminated uh, to get, you know, to have a mind. I mean, a, a change of mind in the way we think, uh, because. You know, naturally, mushroom is, is associated with poverty. You know, people that eat ma veg, I mean, uh, mushroom are seen to be like those that are lacking to get meat. But uh, with the information that I've gained in this workshop, there is a lot of uh, nutritional value. Even some exceeding what we get from meat, from milk, from, you know, a lot of uh, uh, products. So it's really advantageous health-wise. Economically, it's also an opportunity for uh, you know, financial income in terms of uh, small-scale business, even growing it into a large-scale business. After the successful training, it is nothing but a word of appreciation from the participants. Uh, you know, they have exposed us to very useful information within a day. Um, this is an opportunity uh, for us really to gain from you know the university because we've most of the time seen universities as just taking from people but I've seen this as a, you know the university paying back to the community because what they have given us today within a space of day will live with us for eternity and uh, I see also this as an opportunity for interaction with the community because Throughout the discussion, it was like, I mean, the training, it was a discussion kind of mode of training where there was a lot of interaction, us from the community telling them at the university and also them telling us new things. And I also see this as an opportunity for further research and also they exposed us to, you know, a wide span of uh, experience. Those that have small income, how they can do this business with their little income, but also in those uh, advanced countries where they have done this at a larger scale. So they have given us a whole spectrum, a whole picture. So you can start small, but this should be your vision. At the end of the training, we will feel glad and happy if these participants, some of them have already started without knowledge, but most of them haven't even started this activity of, of doing mushroom production. We'll be glad if we, we hear that they have started and we hear their experiences and they talk to us and we see them actually utilizing mushroom, eating mushroom and also making money as a business with this mushroom. Our expectations is we expect these people that we have trained to be able to start their own enterprise 
or train others in producing mushrooms so that at least we have a wider base of people that will be able to access mushrooms through production as well as consumption because at the moment some of the mushrooms that we are getting are from the uh, neighboring countries could be South Africa, Zambia or Zimbabwe that are selling us this uh, product. As many people have started to realize the importance of mushroom, some people who do not have expertise in mushroom production have come in to offer trainings. Luana is there for warning all people to be careful with such people and get trainings from only qualified personnel. We're encouraging the people to use the re renowned trainers in this production because not everybody that uh, you know, tells you will be able to teach you the required materials. So Luana is an institution which is reputable, designated by government, and the expertise that is here is one which you may not find elsewhere. So we're encouraging people that want to get training in either mushroom production or any other activity which is here at Luana to find reputable people that can help you. Don't just pick anybody. Because it's only when you get expertise from an institution like this one, that's when you can get the service that you need, not just speaking from anybody else. What we are trying to, 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 to understand is that we are living in a democracy, the economy is open, people can do what they want. My advice to Malawians beyond and to those in the training that I already talked to is that they should assess who is putting this advert. They should assess who are the people, especially the people behind this. Because people can get money and do these structures. You can build the structure, you can buy mushroom seed, but this is a, a technology. There's science behind. And the, there's nothing we can do if you ask me as a department to say this one should not advertise, this one should advertise. We, we, we are not able to do that. But our advice to the masses, to the to Malawians, is that actually Luana is a training institution. Those who know the history of Luana, it's an agriculture university. It does other things today, but its uh, background is in agriculture. We have experts in this. I've talked about mushroom. In the meeting, I mentioned other exper expertise, not only in mushroom, but this is a training for mushroom. So I don't want to mention all those other expertise. For mushroom, we have experts here. For mushroom, we have structures which they can come and see and, and take, take measurements, whatever they want to do that they can practice in their own backyard, in, in their own homes. So if you ask me, the reason we encourage people to come here is because we have expertise, we have structures, and we have uh, an environment that is conducive for learning. Malawi is at a level that there is need for more to be done in as far as mushroom production is concerned. Of late, mushroom production has gone down because people are not having much interest in producing mushroom. We anticipate that the training that we are doing now will boost the uh, interest in people that have come here and allow more people to start producing mushrooms both uh, at individual level as well as perhaps even starting their own companies to produce uh, large scales here in Malawi. Mushroom is uh, very nutritious. It has a lot of micronutrients, vitamins, and it is easy to cultivate. As you know, Malawi is concerned with climate change and drought. So mushroom doesn't need you to be irrigating it. It doesn't need a lot of water. Mushroom doesn't need a lot of space. You can do it at the back of your house. On top of that, the issues of nutrition that we worry for our children, breastfeeding mothers, and all these elderly people, people affected with uh, uh, diseases, this should be sorted out with mushroom. And we believe that starting small like this, if these people go into mushroom production and mushroom is supplied in our markets, not only in supermarkets, but even in local markets, if people can access this mushroom, then we will be happy that at least we have contributed to improvement of nutrition and also responding to climate change issues. It is the university's mandate to do consultancy and outreach activities. Luana is therefore open to everyone who like to undergo a training in a particular area. What we require from them is they meet the department or they contact uh, the PRO office, publications office, to seek for guidance on how they can have this training. So we have this network that we can have and link up with them to give them training. Either they'll come here at Bunda as we have done here, to train them in mushroom production 
or they can tell us to go to their place to teach them how they will grow mushrooms at their own bucket. So they will contact the department, we have contacts that we will give them later on if they are interested or they will contact the public relations office or through the registrar's office to seek for the help in how they can get trained and we will use that mode of uh, trending arrangements to reach out to them and give them the information they need.